I'm going to talk about Bad Girls Club 11 Miami. Um, it was a season premiere tonight, so it wasn't really too much drama to the end. So, let's get into it with the girls. They all arriving. Um, Tiana was first. She's the girl from Harlem. She's the hothead girl. She reminds me of um, DMX ex-wife to share. That's what she gave me. A, um, her little vibe gave me. Then we have Tess. Um, Tess is the girl from Kentucky that had the accident. Sarah, she's the, uh, the white girl from Atlanta that has the black, black bodyguard. She's like, she says she's like everybody mixed in one. The black girl, the white girl, the crazy chick. All in one mixed in one. I like Sarah. For so far, that's the one I like is Sarah. Um, uh, Mylene, don't like her. Um, she's the attention whore. She's the one that names celebrities that she and fuck, so I, I'm not with her. Um, Teresa, she's the girl with all the tats. This episode, I wasn't feeling her, but it looked like I might be okay with her, but when she was kicking it with Tess, I wasn't liking her. Um... Stephanie, she's the little Puerto Rican, Colombian, or whatever girl. She's like the little ghetto Puerto Rican. I don't know. Not too much getting a vibe from her yet. Jasmine Monet is the model girl from L.A. I don't have a bad vibe from her yet either. So they all kind of come into the house. Jasmine Monet is the last girl in the house. Sarah asked her, was she a man or something? I guess because she was tall or whatever. So she got offended. She didn't too much say something, but... Mimi and Tiana was going off. So I'm not too much liking Mimi or Tiana right now. Um, They going off talking about Sarah rubbing everybody the wrong way with her comments. And to me, Sarah just don't know no better. Like I said before, Sarah just don't know no better. And she just needs to, you know, being in a house with different people, she'll get to learn that. But... I didn't see too much wrong with what she was saying. I wasn't getting offended talking about, oh, the black girl on the picture. I didn't get offended by that type of shit. So this is what you get messy-ass ratchet bitches that just want to nitpick and start fights on just any fucking thing. Um, the girls go to the club. Everybody except, no, that ain't what happened. After, no, they all chilling at the pool. And Sarah made a comment thinking, like, Tess was goth or whatever. Tess got upset, talking about she wasn't goth. She thinks that's people that wear black and they cut themselves and all that. I'm like, bitch, no, that's not goth. So you need to get the real definition of that shit, too. And Sarah was like, I'm not trying to offend nobody. I wasn't trying to offend you. I apologize. But like I said, all these girls are attacking Sarah for just stupid-ass reasons. Um... The girls go to the club except Tess and Teresa. They stay at home because they not feeling the girls right about now. They really not feeling Sarah. But they feel in some kind of way. Tess um, end up rubbing her roommates the wrong way. I think it was like Sarah and I don't know who Sarah's roommate was. But they at the club talking about how they need to get Tess to go home. Or, I mean, not go home, but how she need to move out the room because they, they don't want her negativity in the room. And I was feeling that because Tess was kind of negative. Tess at home, she calling her mama, talking about she want to go home. This is not for her. This is not what she thought it was going to be. Yada, yada, yada. Her mama calling her a quitter because her mama is just like, I think her mama just wanted her to stay on TV and make, you know, something from Kentucky. But her mama was pissed off that she was ready to come home. So then when the girls come home from the club, then she decides she wants to tell the girl she's going home for some lying ass reason talking about her grandmother died two weeks ago, which I don't know if her grandmama died, but she was talking about her family need her and after really talking to her mom, and I'm like, what conversation we heard? Because we heard your mama telling your ass to stay there. So, I'm just saying. Um, so that was some bogus bullshit. So she ended up going back home. The girls is like, you know, you, you should have never fucking came because you've been here less than 24 hours and that could have been somebody else's spot. And I agree. Like, bitch, what you come for? Because attention wasn't on you. I don't understand. That was some bogus shit. Like, I think that was the one where they, somebody should have socked her or something and sent her home with a bang. I don't know. But I just felt some kind of way for you to come all the way there, see the house, and then say... Oh, since everybody not saying what I'm saying, I'm going home. You didn't even give the shit a chance. Um, so anyway, they all get, they, 
still tripping off of um Sarah rubbing all the girls the wrong way. I think they was at the pool and she made a comment about sun tanning and Mimi makes shit up. She just starts shit where shit don't need to be start. Um everything that Sarah said she has something to say. And I'm so glad and what I like about Sarah, she don't back down from these bitches. She, if they come at her, she either gonna explain herself. She, she not gonna bow down like Tessa and shit was doing. So I'm, I'm, I'm feeling her. So anyway, they all go to the club or whatever. They twerking. They having a whole bunch of fun. And then soon as it was time to leave, and they would start to tip or whatever. Jasmine, they said she left her wallet at home, so she was like, I give you twenty when I get home if you tip ten now. They was cool with that. Here come punk ass Mylin. She say something to um Tiana about Sarah holding the money and she wouldn't help out uh Jasmine. And I'm sitting there like, bitch. And I'm that's why I'm getting mad at J uh, Tiana because I'm sitting there like, you are getting manipulated by this little dumbass girl and I don't get it. Like, why are you all of a sudden so besties with this girl and you believe in every fucking thing she said? So then, they get back to the um, house because she Tiana popping off like, when I get back to the house, I'm going to say something, wop, 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 for what? I don't know. Bitch, it wasn't your money. I don't get it. But she feel like everybody should have everybody's back. Bitch, I don't know y'all. That's what I would have said. If I was say I would like, bitch, I don't know y'all. How can I have somebody's back? I don't fucking know. We barely know each other for fucking 48 hours and you want me to... Dish out money. You want me to fight for you? Because they were talking about if we go to the club one swing, we all swing. Bitch, I don't know you. I don't know what you did to start no fight. Bitch, I'm not going to jail for you. No. Bitch, I go to jail. No, no, I'm not. I'm lying. I'm too damn grown to be going to jail for any motherfucking body besides my kids. But I'm just like, no. Now, if you with your homegirls and some bitches just ran up on her and they jumping her, bitch, yes. But if a bitch get into it with another bitch and they just squaring up fighting, okay, y'all fight. And when, uh, if my homegirl getting her ass whooped, I might pull them off. But I'm not going to just sit there and jump in a fight and then to me, I'm jumping somebody. No, no, no. I don't get down like that. Anyway, so they get back to the house and Tiana... Well, before they get to the house, I mean, get in the house, we see Sarah helping Jasmine up the stairs to the bathroom because she can barely walk and talk, whatever. She throwing up in the bathroom. So when Tiana get there, her and Mimi get there, they running up. I was so getting mad at editing because they run up. They asking about Tiana. She telling homegirl, uh, Sarah, she feeling some kind of way. Sarah's like, what are you talking about? She trying to explain herself. Next thing you know, both of their hairs is tied up. Tiana ain't got no pants on. They by the pool area. They still arguing, which I'm liking because Sarah's still not backing down. When Tiana walked back in the house, Sarah walked back in the house. So, um, they all, they squaring up on each other. They squaring up, talking shit, talking shit. Next thing you know, Sarah grabs Tiana and wrestled her to the ground. Then they wrestling all on the fucking ground. Nobody throwing punches. I guess they feel like if they throw punches, the first one throw the punch, I don't know. It's going home. I don't know, but they wrestling on the fucking floor because that wasn't a fight to me. And I feel like Tiana was trying to hold on to Sarah so she couldn't get them punches because I don't think that fight would have went Tiana's way. I'm just saying. It might have been a fair one, but I don't think Tiana would have whooped Sarah's ass. That's what I'm saying. So anyway, that's my review for um, Bad Girls Club 11 Miami season premiere. Hope you guys liked it. You can rate, comment, subscribe, share my videos. Talk to me about who you like, who you didn't like. Um, what you think about Mimi starting this bullshit. She's going to be the one I don't like this season because she's a shit starter. And I hope somebody pop her in the mouth of all the shit she has started. And look like she's going to start. I hope somebody just really turn around and see that she's a ratchet bitch and she's a shit starter. So anyway, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Keek. I do everything by the ghetto view, T-H-A, not T-H-E. Except my Instagram is Miss Nika, M-I-Z-Z-N-E-K-A-69. Um, talk to me and I'll talk back. Um, I think Mr. Still Standing might be doing this one. Because usually he do Bad Girls Club. So if you are... um. 
want to check out another subscriber that I might be doing it, check out him. Check out A Connection TV because I know um, Mona Simone is going to do it. Um, yeah, check them out. Even if you don't want to watch their Bad Girls Club, check them out anyway and subscribe. Alright, peace.